Hi there, I'm Black Bite. Welcome to my channel. Subscribe, like, share. And I'm going to be talking about Amazon again today and Google, the modern man's God, they call it. Because it's omnipresent, it's omnipotent, it's all seeing, all knowing, and wise. So they're calling it the modern man's God. The modern man's God. Now, when you think of Amazon, they produce Alexa, and Alexa doesn't only wake you up in the morning, doesn't only tell you about the weather, it doesn't only um, open up your curtains for you and tell you what you what's for dinner. It actually, um, people seem to think that Alexa starts when you say, wake up Alexa, or whatever they do, like with OK Google. But the thing is, is that it's already um, listening. It has to listen, otherwise how does it know that you're saying, wake up Alexa? So it's always on the alert, it's always on, it's always getting information. Now it appeals to the disabled, it appears to the illiterate, it appears to those who are vulnerable, those who want a quick fix, those who want to be um, high on technology and they want the latest gadgets, it appeals to all people like that. And when I heard that it was partnering with the NHS, I nearly dropped, I nearly dropped Amazon partnering with the NHS. What next? Anyway, to be honest, it's, 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 <sighs> the um, capacity that Amazon has is absolutely, and the power now, the power, because what they're doing now is that they're having a healthcare service. What will happen is, You'll say to Alexa, oh, I've got a migraine. And migraine, you know, and Alexa will say, um, do you only have it in the mornings? Do you have it in the evenings? Is it all day? Does it hurt above your eyes? Does it hurt behind your ears? All that kind of stuff. It then um, collects all the data, that all the answers that you've given it. It then trawls the NHS databases and websites gets all the information and comes back and tells you the answer. So you don't need to call 111 anymore, that service that um, that you call instead of calling 999. You speak to Alexa and it gives you the answer. It's even, it's even um, got algorithms to determine accents because I used to get frustrated because sometimes, you know, when you're, you're using these um, automated uh, machines and you're, they say to you, put in your number, why do you, want, why do you want to make this call or who do you want to speak to or what's it about? And they can never understand what I'm saying. And I find it so frustrating. But apparently, this, um, the echo that Google has got and Alexa have algorithms in there that they can even determine the accent. They can track it to where you're from and understand your accent. So you can't even say that's an excuse for not having one. I think it's... Oh. On the one hand, I can see how people will actually have it in their homes. I can see why. But on the other hand, you're giving that... Um, little piece of equipment so much more of your life it's got all kind of surveillance capacities in it they're even teaching it to read emotions so it can become a mediator so it can become a counselor if you've got a problem with your husband it's doing couple counseling <laughs> can you imagine it would be able to tell from the what you say or what it hears in the household like one of them, I heard it say, um, oh, let's talk about that tomorrow when you're in a better mood. <laughs> That's what he's saying to the couple. They're having this big old argument and it chirps in and says, let's talk about it tomorrow when you're in a better frame of mind. Can you imagine? Like that would freak me out. They're actually putting it as a standard in all the hotels. They're putting it as a standard in all new homes that they're building. Amazon's got all those contracts. 
And apparently, they're going to actually manage tenants. They're using Alexa to manage tenants. I don't know how that's going to work, but apparently that's what they're going to do. I mean, it's really, really quite crazy. Anyway, let me um, read what I found. Um, I've put it appeals to those who are disabled, illiterate, who can speak into it and get answers. And the thing is, I can understand why that would be appealing because, you know, some people, they don't know how to... Um, they probably can get the information off of Google, but it's quite limited. So this way, uh, but the information goes to a private for profit cooperation corporation who they give your private health care information so that they can com customize your needs so they can send you adverts. It's like they reckon they don't do that. But apparently, according to this website, they do. There's a new partnership between the NHS and Amazon. Alexa will bring verified health information and medical advice based on what you tell it is wrong with you. Amazon's algorithms will then trawl information on the NHS website. It is then triaged and comes back with an antidote or a response. It's just something else. It's hoped that this collaboration will empower people to take greater control of their health and care through so simply asking Alexa questions about symptoms or treatments. The technology can provide qualified advice to users in the comfort of their own home. By providing better access to advice on common illnesses, particularly for the elderly or blind parents who are unable to access the internet, on a smartphone or computer, it is hoped to pre it is hoped pressure on GP services and A and E will be relieved. See, I can understand that. You know, especially with little old ladies, and you know, like they say, but they're playing on that, aren't they? And people who are blind, they can actually press the button, or they don't have to press a button. I think they can just speak. It's voice activated, and get the information that they want. It's funny because my mother, she's got one of those watches on her arm and, you know, all she's got to do is touch it and, you know, she gets a call and they respond to her. So it's a bit similar, only that they won't have a person. It will be this Alexa thing. But I don't know what an Alexa is going to do if my mum falls over. What's it going to do? I guess if she says help, it might send the ambulance around. One blind patient uses Alexa for tasks like emails, ordering a taxi and news updates. He said convenience is the key and it's brilliant to know I can ask Alexa without various about various illnesses and receive credible NHS verified information. Apparently, Alexa can dif differentiate between accents and emotions. So if you have a thick accent, it shouldn't be an obstacle. Um, equipped with healthcare skills, tell it what's wrong with you, partnered with the National Health Service. Uh, I've said all that. Oh, there's also something, I don't know if you know about this. Smart pills. Smart pills with sensors. You swallow the smart pill and it reminds you when you're supposed to take your, your, your medication. And then to get the prescription. You ingest it, you know. And the information comes up on a smartphone or I don't even know where it comes up on a smartphone or your phone and says to you, oh, it's time to take your medication. So let me just read it how it's written. I just kind of ad lib it. Um, smart pills, digital pill are medications prescribed to patients that are equipped with edible electronic sensors that sends wireless messages reminding you to take your medicine. Maybe it's wireless. You know wireless is radioactive, right? Even though it'd be a low dose, but still. Um, reminding you to take your medicine to devices like patches, tablets, or smartphone. 
outside the body when they are ingested. And it could be integrated with Amazon's Alexa. So they're going to link these smart pills to Amazon's Alexa. And Amazon is being given millions for this. It cuts out all the searching online, which can be traumatic experience for many people, especially those who are disabled or not familiar with technology. Smart speakers such as Alexa are no doubt high tech, but they are designed in a way which allows you to have a conversation with them, making them less daunting to use. Announcing the partnership, Matt Hancock, Secretary, Secretary for Health and Social Care, said the partnership was about building a health and care system fit for the future, just like 5G. That's another video. We want to empower every patient to take better control of their health care and technology like this is a great example of how people can access reliable, world-leading NHS advice from the comfort of their home, reducing the pressure on our hard-working GPs and pharmacists, he said. They won't even have a job. Because if the information is coming from the website, that's the information all the doctors have put in, I assume, all of the solutions, all of the antidotes, so they're doing themselves out of a bloody job. Hard-working GPs and pharmacists, we won't need you. Well, we'll probably need the pharmacist because you need to get the medication. It wouldn't surprise me if Alexa can do that as well. To, you know, arrange delivery of the medication. Just tell Alexa to order it for you. Also speaking about the announcement, Matthew Gold, Chief Executive of NHSX, which is the... Um, the same system, said the public should have easy access to reliable information about their health. He added, by working closely with Amazon and other tech companies, big and small, we can ensure that millions of users looking for health information every day can get simple, validated advice at the touch of a button or voice command. Part of our mission is that NHSX is to give citizens the tools to access services and information directly. And partnerships such as this are an important a part of achieving this. A new joint unit, NHSX, which is the new joint organization for digital data and technology, created to bring the benefits of modern technology to every patient and clinician. It will combine the best talent from government the NHS and industry. NHSX will aim to create the most advanced health and care service in the world to diagnose diseases earlier, free up staff time and empower patients to take greater control of their health care. And the NHS is not the only organisation who wants to integrate with Amazon's Alexa tool. In October 2018, the charity Breast Cancer Care announced it had developed a virtual tool on the device which shares information on signs and symptoms of breast cancer. Amazon, as we all know, is dirt cheap. I think they're showing it £25 at the moment, half price from 50 to encourage people to buy it. Um, so, anytime you get a new apartment now, Along with the fire alarms and the entry alarms, you'll get an Alexa by default as a part of the deal. And you won't have a choice. There's supposed to be a Google book by Cohen and Schmidt, The New Digital Age Reshaping the Future of People, Nations and Businesses. It's supposed to be cover all of this. In which it says, Hose will be an electronic orchestra of orchestra of sensors and monitoring equipment, collect, continuously collecting and analysing data. Not only will it give you back massages, open curtains, clean your home, control lights and thermostats, it will do more than that. Smart meters sends information out of every outlet in the home and it will be linked to your smart meter as well. Hotel rooms, echo smart meters will be placed in 
1 million hotel rooms around the world and will be installed in there as standard. So you're going to be in there and it's going to be listening to everything you say. The thing is with that's scary about this is because it's linked to government. And, you know, sometimes you, you might say something um, that, you, you know, you would only say if you didn't think anybody was listening. Like, I might, you know, I might be angry with my old man and I might say, I'll bloody kill you if you say that to me again. You know what I mean? Or you might, somebody might say something ridiculous. And that picks it up and sends that, that message off to wherever it sends it off to. You'll soon get the police knocking on your door. You can't afford to say something that could be misinterpreted because these are in your homes to get terrorists. Then anything that sounds like a threat can be picked up and triaged off to the CIA or FBI or the police or anything if it sounds slightly ambiguous. So it's really quite scary. You will have to be on your, t your P's and Q's all the time. It picks up intonations. It picks up whispers. Apparently, if, you, if you've got children, it's like a babysitter. And if, you, if it goes quiet and, you know, they don't hear no noise, it's got something like a mischief alarm, which uh, will imply that the children are up to mischief because they can't hear them playing. So it'll send some kind of alarm for the parents to go and check on the children. It's got all of that in it. And it picks up, you know, if you're angry, if you're talking ordinarily, and it learns your it learns your patterns of speech over time when you've got them in the house. And it actually creates algorithms so that it would be able to determine who you are. And so it apparently it makes suggestions. It would be able to tell you in time whether or not the person you married is going to last. All kinds of stuff it's supposed to be doing how to resolve conflict, it'll be listening in on every conversation you have from any little thing you have. I mean, you know, normally you go to the toilet, you're able to shut the door. It's going to be in the bloody toilet with you. Probably tell you, have you wiped your bum properly or something? Who knows? Oh, dear. So Amazon has made deals to have built-in echo units before you move into your new apartment. Google has painted a policy called Generation and Implementation of Household Policies for the Smart Home. Apparently, the homes are going to be smart new homes. They're all going to be have these smart features in. The Echo, the Alexa type things, smart meters, smart this, smart that, smart TVs, smart phones. That's, that's the way the future is looking at. And they've got this thing called Generation Alpha, where Generation Alpha won't know anything that happened before technology. This is the world they're going to be born into, technology. So they'll automatically um, jump on board with this. Ah, anyway, M2M, which is machine to machine, P2M, people to machine. Um, sensors, cameras, smart devices, outlets, biometrics and analyzers will be installed as standard in new homes and it'll be called the conscious home. Can you imagine? The home has a conscience. Conscious home. Data is being collected of, of the person and being analysed in real time and it wouldn't mind if it just stayed there but it doesn't. It goes off to wherever it goes off to in the cloud. It observes characteristics, observes mischief. This is what I was talking about. If kids go quiet, no movement. Private network surveillance is the monitoring of computer activity in a network. It is usually done covertly by organisations, governments or individuals to monitor illegal activities. However, at times it is perceived as a threat to networks using as an invasion of privacy. But privacy is now a thing of the past. Yeah, I'm going to be doing a um, video on 5G. That's another That's another thing. I mean, all these things, they're just working together, aren't they, really? Because when you think about 5G, 
and that that its capacity. And what is worrying is about you've got all of these um, instruments like the Echo, Alexa, they all work off of radio magnetic fields and that's radioactivity and all of that is coming into you and I mean the more intense and the more condensed you know and the, everything in close proximity the more likely it's going to affect you and apparently it's supposed to dumb down your brain and make you lazy and so you you know your lazy brain is fodder for um, Alexa and all of that because the more you take on all of this stuff to make life simpler, the more you stop your brain from thinking. The more likely it is that you're not going to get a book to read. You're going to rely on Alexa to do everything for you. And that's what it wants. You just won't be using your brain anymore. You know, Generation Alpha, children born between 2011 and 2025 also known as children of the millennials, is the first generation born entirely within the 21st century. And they won't see anything wrong with Echo and Alexa. And that's all I've got to say on that one. Hope you found it interesting.